Good day to you guys, I'm Gerald Varon and this is a tutorial series about Cisco Packet Tracer simulating a basic MPLS connection. And I welcome you to module 1. Our intended learning outcome for this module is for you to be able to navigate and be familiarized with the course and very basics of Cisco Packet Tracer. Make sure you have downloaded the Cisco Packet Tracer and created an account. And if you haven't, check out the link down in the description. And without further ado, let's get right to the action. So this is Cisco Packet Tracer. We can practice building simple up to complex networks across a variety of devices and extended beyond routers and switches. This blank white canvas right in front of you is our workspace. This is the place where we establish the logical connection of our network. To form a network, we need network devices and they are located at the left corner of our screen which offers a plethora of devices such as under network devices we have here our routers, switches, hubs, wireless devices, firewalls, and cloud devices. At the end device we have here PCs, laptops, servers, etc. Packet Tracer also offers IoT devices such as microcontroller. And under the connections tab, we got here our cables in order for us to connect our devices together. We can place these devices to our workspace by simply dragging and picking them to our desired place. And with that out of the way, I'll give an example on how to create a very simple connection of PCs. I'll drop in two different PCs and a Cisco 2960 switch. And by using the magnifying glass at the toolbar above, we can have a closer look at our devices. And on the connections tab, we'll use the straight through cable to connect our devices. But if you don't know which cable to use, you can click this lightning symbol button under the connections tab and use that instead. It automatically used the appropriate cable for the connection. Then clicking it on PC0, we'll use the fast Ethernet 0 port and then to the switch. As we can see, it has a lot of ports and for this demonstration, we'll use port 1 and then connect the port 2 for the second PC. Simply, we'll do the same at the other side. You may be wondering what's that orange circle beside the switch. All we have to do is wait for it or fast forward time using this button at the lower left side of our screen. Next is that we need to assign the two IP addresses for our PC. In order for us to do that, we need to double click the PC and then we have five tabs here. Physical, Config, Desktop, Programming, and Attributes. But we will focus on the Desktop tab, then IP Configuration to change our IP. On PC0, we'll use 192.168.0.1 and then click on the subnet mask. The pocket tracer will automatically place a subnet mask. Then on PC2, we'll use 192.168.0.2 and do the same. Now that we've assigned our IP addresses on our corresponding PCs, we can now check if we really did establish a connection between the two PCs by using the command prompt in one of the PCs in the desktop tab. In the CMD, type ping then the corresponding IP address of the PC that we would like to connect to or ping, then press enter. And as we can see, we are receiving a reply. Therefore, we have successfully established a connection between these two PCs. Next is we will be having a hands-on experiment by using these two computers and a router. Unfortunately, I don't have a switch, but this will do. And we'll start off by connecting our devices like the topology of what we just simulated earlier in Cisco Packet Tracer. The blue Ethernet cable is connected to my desktop, or PC0, then to the router. And the gray Ethernet cable is connected to this laptop, or our PC1. And now let's go back to our desktop screen. Because we need to assign an IP address to our PCs, but by default our PCs already have its own IP address. I'll just teach you guys how to change it. It is done by going to your PC's control panel, 
click on the network and internet, network and sharing center, and at the left side of the window, change adapter settings. Right click on your ethernet port and then click properties. Double click on internet protocol version 4, enable the use the following IP address, then let's input our desired IP address and subnet mask. Oh, I almost forgot, since we are using an actual router instead of a switch, we also need to assign a default gateway to our device. And for demonstration's sake, let's say 192.168.1.1. And of course, we will also do the same procedure on my laptop or the PC one. Don't you worry if you don't have any background on this kind of stuff because in the next videos, I'll be discussing more on about IP address, subnet mask, default gateway, subnetting, etc. So stay tuned in the next videos. For this demo, I'll temporarily turn off my firewall so that our PCs may connect. Also, if you're trying this, turn off your laptop's Wi-Fi. And now just like what we did in our simulation, let's test our connection by pinging the other PC. We are at the desktop and sending a ping to the laptop. And we are receiving a reply from the laptop. Now let's try if the laptop can connect to our PC. And the answer is also yes. So that was a experiment for setting up a small network. This is also a demonstration of how convenient Cisco Packet Tracer is because instead of setting up computers, routers, switches in real life, we can easily simulate the network first for testing in Packet Tracer. But using the command prompt is not the only way to check the connection in Cisco Packet Tracer. We can also simulate by using the toolbar above with this close envelope symbol that says add a simple PDU. Click it to enable it then click it again to our desired sender PC. Then after that click it to our desired receiver PC to assign it. Currently the simulation is set to real time. To check the status of our PDU if it was received by our receiver PC or not, at the lower right corner of our screen, kindly click this arrow to show our PDU list window. It keeps track of what happened to our sent message. And as we can see here, the transmission of PDU was successful. Here is another method of connection checking. And this is by far my favorite simulation option here in Packet Tracer. By clicking the simulation button beside the real time button, a simulation panel will appear. We will again assign a sender and receiver PC by using the add a simple PDU button at the toolbar. Now let's check our PDU list window. It shows that our PDU is still in progress. We can progress by clicking the play button or the next button on the simulation panel. Now, we can see that this option in Packet Tracer is very useful because we can visualize how the PDU is being sent from one device to another. We can use this later on for troubleshooting. So that was Cisco Packet Tracer with a little bit of hands-on experiment. Before I end this video, I just want to let you guys know that on the next video, I'll be discussing more on about IP address. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys there.